Reading to our lecturer, Ms. Tina, and our fellow friends. We are from the tutorial, uh, Wednesday 2 to 3 p.m., Group 3. We are presenting you about the Musang King. The group members are uh, Ms. Ketiga, Ms. Leong Ke Hui, Ms. Ng Wei San, and me, Mr. Terence. If you are an Asian, you are probably know what is about Musang King. For your information, Musang King is one of the most expensive durian among all types of the durian, and it also been recognized as the king of the fruits. So, before I start my presentation, I would like to ask you a question. Do you like durian? Some of you may like or some of you may dislike. But this presentation is going to tell you that uh, how durian generating a huge market or revenue to the country. So, according to the 2020 Business Wire Incorporate, yeah, they are showing the data about the forecasting uh, in 2020 until 2025 in the market share of the durian. So according with the data, it shows that the compound annual growth rate of the market of share of durian uh, within 2020 and 2025, it shows a positive 10.6% growing rate. So it is a huge amount for the market. Okay, so in the past record, uh, according to the same sources which are from 2020 Business Wire Incorporated, they are showing that uh, Asia Pacific is the fastest growing region and Thailand has been known as the they has the biggest chunk in the market share of the durian. So in this year 2020, uh, the past few months ago, which is uh, October 2020, uh, during the pandemic or the outbreak of COVID-19, uh, Malaysia has been break the record. What kind of a record? Which is uh, they have been recorded the total amount of 300,000 Musang King durian uh, been sold online in less than an hour. Okay, so in more details, it showed they are mentioning that total of the 60 tons durian uh, been sold out exactly 15 minutes 48 seconds. Uh, with the record worth about 61.2 million Malaysian ringgit or 14.7 million US dollar. According to Dato Ahmad Isha, the Director General of Malaysian Federal Agriculture Marketing Authority, he has planned to penetrate a new market which is South Korea. He sent a trial shipment to there to allow to give the people for a taste of durian. After that, they will follow up with marketing Malaysian durian over there. The team are focusing the potential market which can help to increase the output of the durians. At the same time, they hope to promote Malaysian durian locally and find a new way of selling durians. So here comes to the first question from the doctor. Why a company must understand and react to the external environment? So before I answer the question, I would like to uh, define what is about external environment. It is a group of factors or conditions that are outside the organization but affect it in some extent. So it can be separated into two which is micro environment or macro environment. Micro environment consists of the actors close to the company that affect its ability to serve its customer. Okay, such as like company, suppliers, marketing, uh, intermediaries, uh, customer markets, competitors, and public. Okay, for a macro environment, it consists of the larger societal forces that affect the micro environment, such as demographic, economic, natural, technological, political, and cultural forces. Okay, so come back to the question: Why a company must understand and react to the external environment? So, it's the, the main reason for a company doing so is to develop a strategic marketing plan. It's very important for a company to doing so, uh, or else even if the company without doing so, uh, the company will face a huge losses in terms of time or capital. Okay, so how do the company develop strategic marketing plan? Uh, they have to choose the target market. In this case, Dato Ahmad is hard. They choose the target market or the potential market which is the South Korea. Next, they have to study the trends and behavior of customer. So how did uh, Dato Ahmad is hard study the behavior of the customer uh, over the South Korea? They send a trial shipment over the country and allow to give the local people there a taste of the durian. Okay, after that, they will try to follow up back the response and also their opinion about the Musang King uh, from the Malaysia. Okay, so after that, even if the response is good, then they will try to marketing or uh, even there's not good, they will try to think of the other way on how to sell the Musang King over the potential markets. Okay, so that's all from me. I will pass uh, my floor to my teammates. Okay, Miss Thank you. Good afternoon everyone. Next is that with the understanding of external environment, a company can adapt to the forces in the environment better. This is because with the understanding, they can conduct various analysis 
for example, the pastel analysis and the cosmic analysis, which in turn can give a better, uh, better and deeper understanding of the threats, opportunities, weaknesses and strengths of the company. With this, they can react and adapt accordingly. For instance, in this case, although the pandemic affected many businesses, the demand for Malaysian durian remained unthreatened. This could have been an advantage for a company only if they use technology innovation opportunity by setting up an online sales platform before MCO. As a proof, 300,000 Malaysian durian uh, Musang King were sold in an online flash sale in less than an hour in China. This could have been an advantage only if they identified that online presence would have been a strength in the future for the company. Next reason is stakeholder relationship management. Stakeholders are individuals who have vested interest in the company. Typical stakeholders include employees, customers, suppliers, investors or governments. These individuals have the power to affect or be affected by the company's business performance and operations. Hence, it is important to have stakeholder engagement to reduce potential conflict. To have a continued stakeholder engagement, it is important to have consistent analysis of the external and internal environment by business leaders. Sharing the results of this analysis with the stakeholders, it will help maintain a positive relationship by managing their expectations and agreed upon objectives. Not only that, it helps maintain a greater degree of trust among stakeholders and as a whole, it increases the value of the stakeholders. For example, due to the rising global demand of uh, fresh durian, Thailand durian companies identified their need to have an engagement with the government. As a result, there was a zero tariff tra free trade agreements between Thailand and 16 countries. This has made Thailand to acquire the major market share in almost many countries and this means that the customers and other stakeholders are satisfied. Moving on, understanding the external environment helps the company to determine the demand of consumers and meet the supply effectively. This is because the external environment affects the consumer decision process. Taking the macro environment as an example, in this case, for the economic factor, in China, there is a growing middle class group, which means they have the purchasing power. Technological innovations include a variety of products being derived from fresh durian fruit, which includes pizza toppings, bread, custards, give more options. Next, only 3% of the Chinese population have tried the durian fruit, so there's a big market. In, in terms of culture, everyone is moving towards healthy eating and this makes durian's nutrient content more prominent to consumers. As mentioned previously, due to the rising demand, some countries have zero tariff trade agreements to boost their export. Also, China has a very low possibility to grow durians. All these factors allows exporters to know there's a great demand and plan their supply accordingly. Lastly, understanding external environment ensures the sustainability of a company. Companies are exposed to environmental uncertainty. What is it? It is a degree of change in the company's environment and a degree of complexity in the environment. But with sufficient understanding of the environmental changes, managers can improve their predictability. This is because uncertainty is a threat to the company's effectiveness. Hence, managers will try their best to minimize these threats to have more resources allocated to the opportunities. For example, Dato Ahmad Ishak, uh, Director General, actually identified South Korea as a new market and sent trial shipment. But in order to send this trial shipment, they need enough resources. They would only have enough resources if managers allocated it effectively. And now, in return, Malaysian durians will have a competitive advantage of being the pioneer and have a large market share in South Korea. Indeed, understanding and managing the external environment plays an important role in the existence, growth and success of an organization. Good afternoon to Dr. Tina and fellow classmates. My name is Leon Kehui. Next, I'll explain about the macro environment factors that will affect the expansion of Musan King durian markets to South Korea. So these factors, they, will, they may shape opportunities or they may also um, cause some threats to the expansions. So we will um, explain it further. First, I will start with political forces, which involve laws, government agencies, and pressure groups that limit the or influence the various organizations and individuals in a given society. So um, in the case of exporting durian to South Korea, there are certain laws and regulations that they need to comply with. 
according to cycle sanitary requirement for exportation of horticultural produce from Malaysia 2018, the exportation of fresh durian or frozen durian to South Korea, um, they, the, they may need to have the cycle sanitary certificates and the qualification of the farm will also be scrutinized. From here, we can see that South Korea imposed high regulation on the quality of durian imported. So um, it may cause a threat to the farm, I would say, if they are not carefully obey to the laws and regulation required. But it may be a golden opportunity for them to successfully expand to this new market if they are um, following the rules and regulation and they, are, they will carefully review and update the required laws and regulation periodically. Furthermore, we have cultural forces, which is the factors that affect the society basic value per or perception, preference, and also behavior. So let me introduce some fun facts about how Koreans eat durian. So in one of the Korean TV shows, they let the celebrities to try out the durian, but the way the, tu the Korean eating the durian soup surprise you like they are actually eating the durian skin but not the fruits and also from another um, influencer on social media um, she cut the durian into half like how we used to cut the watermelon so isn't it like it's very weird for Malaysian as it's not the usual way like how we eat the durian so from here, we can see that the Korean are actually not really familiar with uh, durian. But um, from day to day, the trend of eating durian in Korean are actually improving. As now, um, eating durian have become a special challenges for the Korean. And you can see that um, so like some of the YouTubers, they, they will be doing some challenging on eating durian which shows that they are actually, um, the trend of eating durian is increasing and from a statistic also shows that the import of durian for South Korea has been increasing. So this will be a great opportunity for Malaysia to expand the Musan King. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Wei San, so now I will continue with demography forces. Demography forces usually involve age and gender, population, geography shift, etc. So here we will focus on population growth rate as well as the working age population. As you can see from the graph that population growth rate in year 2020 is 0.09% and that's a significant drop compared to year 1960. As a result, the working age population who aged between 15 to 64 also experienced a drop since July 2016. This is mainly due to the lower birth rate in South Korea and this will cause poor productivity because there are lesser labor or talent work. And this will potentially give rise to especially bad impact to long-term economic growth. Moreover, the targeted customer for Musang King Durian are those working age adults as they are the ones who can afford to buy the Musang King Durian as they are expensive in price compared to the other foods. So, the crime in working age population also will cost lesser people purchase the Musang King Durian. And as a result, there will be lesser import and will narrow the market expansion of Musang King Durian to South Korea. So now moving on to economics factor, by assessing this factor, we're able to see consumer purchasing power and their spending patterns. GDP in previous years of South Korea has increased together with the spend consumer spending. However, when the COVID-19 starts to hit the world in year 2020, it has bring impacts to global economics and including for South Korea. Consumer spending has declined in second quarter of 2020, which seemed to be due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Although the government of South Korea did not impose lockdown but the awareness in South Korea itself would urge them not to hang around and avoid going high risk areas like shopping malls or markets. In addition, those families who get affected in their household incomes in this pandemic will also reduce buying unnecessary things like durian and they will only buy necessities. This potentially decline the consumer spending and also GDP in year 2020. Pandemic of COVID-19 has directly affected the economies of South Korea and indirectly affect the market expansion of Busan King to South Korea. Now let's move on to technological forces. 
Sakura is well known with their technologies, for example, Samsung, LG, and Hyundai, and they have been ranked first in Bloomberg Innovation Index from year 2014 to year 2019 because of their outstanding performance in R&D intensity, especially in ICT fields. According to Korean articles that mentioned that South Korea plans to invest more than 7 trillion won in R&D for new growth engines in order to achieve technological independence. Invest in R&D in technology that relate to import system will literally help them to achieve type and cost savings, and the import fee will be charged at a cheaper rate. Moreover, 5G has already available in South Korea, and compared to 4G, it has faster speed and lower latency. Latency here means the time between when the information is sent and when the information is received. This will help to improve the process of payment transaction and also the tracking system when the customer purchase the Musang King Durian online. Besides that, 5G also allows greater capacity so the application system can cope with high demand from many customers at the same time. This enables the application system to operate more effectively and efficiently. Both high R&D intensity and 5G availability promotes the market expansion of Musang Kings to South Korea. Lastly, I will explore about natural forces, but as I say, this factor will be able to identify whether South Korea has the ability to grow now their own Busan King during three or not. We will look into four factors, which is temperature, humidity, amount of rainfall, and also latitude. First, the temperature required for the tree to grow is around 24 Celsius to 32 Celsius. Or for Korea, there's a big temperature difference in a year, which is around 30 Celsius, because South Korea is a country with four seasons. Furthermore, humidity that Required for Durant's tree to grow is around 75% to 80%, whereby the average annual humidity for South Korea is 65%. Moreover, the amount of rainfall that greater than 2000 mm annually is required for Durant tree to grow. Meanwhile, for South Korea, the annual amount of rainfall is between 1000 mm to 1800 mm. In addition, Durant tree is ultra tropical and mostly are from Southeast Asia because they need abundance of moisture and also sunshine as well as the tropical worms to trip. Meanwhile, for South Korea is located at East Asia. So in conclusion that this factor in this case that South Korea does not meet the requirement and they are unable to grow now their own Busan King Durant tree. So if the residents in South Korea wish to enjoy the Busan Kings and they have to purchase from import. And this promotes the market expansion of Musang King Durans to South Korea. So that's all from me. Thank you. Now I shall pass the floor back to Ke Hui. So to conclude, there are certain opportunities of trade with the macro environment factors bring to the expansion of Malaysia to Musang King Durian market in South Korea. So let us recap all of the factors that will be affecting. Like first, political forces should bring opportunities if the exporter comply with the rules and regulation, while cultural forces will show an increase in the trend of eating durian in the South Korea, which also implies an opportunities for the for Malaysia. Well, there are threats from the demographic forces which due to the reduction in the um, population growth rate and also working age population. And threats from the economic forces will be due to the pandemic factor currently due to COVID-19. And the, as the purchasing power of Korean are reducing, well, there are also opportunities from both technological forces and natural forces which the availability of 5G will expand the promoting of the uh, durian market in South Korea, while the natural factors in South Korea that are not suitable for planting durian will also increase the import of South Korea from other countries about the Musang King durian. So in overall, there are actually ma majority of the factors actually um, shapes and opportunities for the Malaysia to expand the Musang King durian market. But we can see that um, there are, this factor have strong influence on the expansion and thus the marketers must take into consideration for these factors during the planning of the expansion so that the expansion can be sustained and also continue to grow in the long term. Last but not least, we would like to offer several recommendations 
on the factors that will cause stress to the expansion of Musan King durian market in South Korea. First, for demographic forces will affect the, uh, the marketers to focus on certain age population or the population with certain ranges of salary as this population they will have fixed purchasing power which makes them affordable to buy during during current period while the marketer at the same time should also continuously review the population growth rate or the uh, working age population so that they can expand their target population after the purchasing power has been increased while for the economic forces, the marketers can reduce the prices of durian at current period so that the people are able to afford. And, and other than that, the marketers can also offer some promotional activities on durians so that it can attract the customers. That's all from us. Thank you.